Tuesday and Wednesday. For Stevie J Broadcasting, I'm meteorologist Greg Solgay. All right, uh, cue the band. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Illinois football tomorrow. It's Fighting Illini against Charlotte, 11 a.m. Sunday begins the week of homecoming, where homecoming started. Jennifer Delavu and Jim Hintz is in our studio. Jim, Jen, good to see both of you. Good to see you, Stevie. Very happy. You know, we invented homecoming. I know yeah. we did. I just wanted to make I sure know you knew the did. history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And we have you the... invented broadcasting, Stevie. <laughs> Sadly, that's not far off. Happy anniversary, by okay, the way. Yeah, yeah. I've been in radio a while. So, so listen, um, so this whole uh, homecoming thing, I mean, this is like 1910 or 12 or something like 10. that. And so we also have the biggest alumni. I know it's a little, somebody says that we, I just say we have the biggest alumni. It's That's certainly, fine. certainly the best. Absolutely. The best, yeah, absolutely. And what's the number on the alums? Do we know? For, system wide, it's north of 800,000. Wow. Just from Urbana Champaign, it's over 500,000. Is that right? That's right. Can we do a club picture? I would love to do I'm a club go to picture. Or something. <laughs> Get them all in. Okay, uh, Jim Hintz. Oh, I guess we kick it off Sunday with the 5K, right? Yeah, the 5K. Uh, we're really excited about this event. This is something that's traditionally been hosted by the Alumni Association and the Student Alumni Ambassadors. Uh, we're going to uh, basically do a nice run around campus. It's, it'll be a a nice run. They'll end up over at the Alice uh, Campbell Alumni Center for the uh, Fountain Dying, uh, the celebration, as well as the pancake breakfast. So we hope that folks come out and join I that. 5K. I earn pancakes, don't I? Yeah. yeah, you should come out and have some pancakes, yeah. Stevie. Yeah. Josh Whitman's running in the 5K. Yeah. Barry yeah. Hauser's running in the 5K. We uh, started dying the fountain at <clears throat> Alice Campbell on the Sunday, Sunday of Homecoming Week four years ago. Not too long after I started back home back here and uh, the first year it kind of looked like Jim Runyon who you interviewed last yeah. time and I went out in the dead at night with some plastic cups and <laughs> poured some dye in the fountain and now it's a party yeah. it doesn't look it's nearly great. as nefarious well, how grown but, uh, how you've grown it's great anyway no it was very funny that first year because we called to ask permission and they understandably waved us off, but I think you know me well enough by now that I don't really take no very well. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to the chancellor and uh, the chancellor uh, intervened and I have a feeling the phone call went something like this. Just let her die. <laughs> she might no, stop but calling. No, right, right. No. Stop calling. Yeah, just, yeah. just let her tie the fountain. Uh, <laughs> Jen Delavu and Jim Hintz in our studio. We're talking homecoming. All right, other highlights, Jim, next week? What are we planning? Yeah, we've got we've got activities all week and, and a lot of great events, uh, particularly for the community. We'd love them to come out and, and celebrate the university. Uh, this is our annual celebration where we can all get together. Uh, we've got, uh, after the kickoff there on Sunday, we've got uh, some great events uh, throughout the week, including a Thursday night live in downtown Champaign. This is the first time we're trying this, a homecoming edition. So, uh, come on out if you're if you're familiar with the uh, the summertime Friday Night Live yeah, concept. It's sure. basically the same thing. We're going to have live bands. Mm. Uh, we're going to have appearances by the marching band. Uh, the lo local businesses are going to have uh, specials and homecoming theme um, activities. And uh, we're also going to have uh, these large, almost five foot block eyes um, throughout the downtown that are that are painted by local artists. So to celebrate um, uh, the week, so we're very excited about that. Uh, we also, of course, have the um, uh, football game on Saturday. Uh, Who's happy it was called at 2.30 versus 11 a.m.? Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I think yeah. you're looking at two of the people. Very excited. Were. Very excited. Oh, man. Yeah. 11 a.m. Yeah. is yeah. too tight. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. no good. 2.30 yeah. is really good. It's and you're doing the, parade, the parade's on Saturday this time. It yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. is. We're really mm -hmm. excited about that. Uh, this is something that we were asked to consider. So... Jim and I co-chair the Chancellor's Committee on Homecoming. Gotcha. And Jim is in Student Affairs. He's the Associate Vice Chancellor for Student Success and Engagement. And so we've been compadres on Homecoming. This is our third okay. year. Okay. And uh, he's just, we've made so many strides with him as co-chair of the committee. But one of the things we were asked to look at was the possibility of holding the parade on Saturday morning. Okay. We both share a background at Ohio University in Athens where the Saturday morning hmm. Parade is the tradition. So we jumped in with both feet. Mm -hmm. We will be live streaming the parade. Okay. So that, that'll be fun. Same I'm, route? Is it 
It's it's a flip. It's okay. the same route, but we're stepping off at Alice Campbell. We're ending at First and Kirby. So that parade's going to go right by all the tailgaters. Okay. Which we're really, really excited about. Well, I think it, it's, yeah. it's a new. I mean, because I've never, in my head, it's always Friday night, you know? Yep. That's a... That's a but it might turn in a brand new great tradition here. So we'll see. That's All part one, of the excitement. So. Yeah, that's one reason we were happy about the game time mm. because it's allowing us to try this. And this is something Barry Hauser from the Marching Alliance yeah. has wanted to give a shot. Mary Henson's going to be pray oh. Grand Marshal. Are you kidding? No, I am not. You cannot get a kidding. better Grand Marshal than Mary no. Henson. No, 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 no. She's one that will be honored at the Alumni Awards Gala awesome. on Thursday night. Yeah, that's coming up. Pear Tree, isn't it? At yeah, Pear Tree. Yeah. And, uh, uh, she and Coach Lou, Sweet Lou, were selected as honorary alumnus and alumna. And Coach found out about it a couple months before he mm. passed. But uh, we have a very special guest who will be inducting her into uh, the uh, you know group of award winners. And one of our award winners, Sophia Noble, who's winning the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Award, the first time we've given it, hmm. she just won a MacArthur Genius Grant. Oh, wow. That was just announced on Tuesday. So we're very excited to welcome her to Check my well. resume. I don't think I have that one. <laughs> wow. I'll give you a Genius Grant. Wow. <laughs> Whatever it is, it sounds great. <laughs> so we want people to take part in this thing. It's going to be something you want the whole town. We really do. Yeah. We really do. We have been very intentional, don't you think, Jim, this mm -hmm. year about trying to include the Champaign-Urbana community. As a townie, it's always been important to me that CU understands that this isn't just Illinois' homecoming. This is Champaign-Urbana's yeah. homecoming as we, well. We love being part of it. Yeah. yeah. It's just a great so, event. And the excitement level. And it, it, what, what is better than hearing the marching Illini practice on a Thursday when you can hear it in West Champaign? No, yeah. I know. It just it's sounds just so... And, and it's just, pro football can't match the college atmosphere. Huh. Mm -hmm. It's just really exciting to have that here and we should never take it for granted right yeah, champion yeah. is home of the university of illinois right Absolutely. it's a big right. deal and homecoming's a big deal and and we celebrate mm -hmm. it because we started it it's 110 years old or whatever the tradition is yeah. it's fantastic so is there a place people can go to check it out website yeah, yeah, they can uh, check out the the website at uh, uh, homecoming.illinois.edu. Okay. So go there and check out. We mentioned a few of the activities here today, but there's a whole lot going on that week. You got stuff every day. Person, we, oh, we absolutely. Got things yeah. happening. Do. You can take part every single day of the week. Every virtual day. and yeah. live and events. Because yeah. yeah. we learned a lesson from doing a virtual homecoming last year. Yeah. So every day has a theme. Yep. Every day has live events. Every day has virtual events. And back to the parade. If any local businesses would like to be in the okay. parade or any local organizations mm -hmm. we would love to have them we need them registered by monday at noon but this is this is the community's yeah. homecoming it's a place. way to get in and ours. touch the community and yep. expose your business to the community exactly. show everybody that you're here and able and capable well we love homecoming of love illinois who hired you jen <laughs> I think it's one of the greatest hires ever. Yeah, you bring absolutely, somebody absolutely. with you. Got the Lulee A energy. Oh, you're so no, sweet. I, I I will say it was Chancellor Jones. It was President Colleen, and I'm it was the board of directors of the association. A lot of a lot of kudos so. for bringing somebody that understands because you're from here. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's kind of cool. Brian Barnhart does the play by play, but he was raised here. Yeah. I love that connection yeah. is important. Yeah, yeah, and and it's you know God bless everybody at U of I that aren't from here, but that's fine. But it's awesome. Awesome. When you yeah. have that feel of history and you understand the baseline. And Jen Delavu does, so I would urge the Board of Trustees to raise her salary. All right. <laughs> ILL, right? Yeah. And same for Jim Hens. Absolutely. If you're here, I'll just show you right something. We'll no, give you a raise, too. Oh, this, this is great. Yeah, wonderful. Great. Ten weeks off, the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we, we love Illinois. Thank you for coming and sharing. Of course. Anytime you want. Thank you, Steve. We are all about this. Thank you. That. Because I'm the last locally owned media maybe on the planet. So we love mm -hmm. our town. We love stuff like this. Because I understand it too. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. important right. Yeah. for everybody in Seidel and Sydney and Fairmount exactly. to get involved in the University of Illinois because it's a gift to only drive 20 minutes to something. It's, it's, that's absolutely it's huge. right. huge. That's absolutely it's, it's right. It's so well, exciting. Well, thank you're you. a treasure to us, Stevie. We always well, appreciate you having us I'm on. honored to be part of the family, and it's, a, it's awesome. And we love Illinois. Okay, thank you for coming in. Thank, thank you, you, sir. Appreciate Pleasure. It. Jim Hintz and Jen Delavu. She's the head of the U of I Alumni Association. It's homecoming week, officially beginning Sunday. All that information, Jim, one more time, website. 
You can go to uh, homecoming.illinois.edu. Tuesday and Wednesday for Stevie J Broadcasting. I'm meteorologist Greg Solgay. All right, uh, cue the band.